Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic. So far we had seen the introduction part of the routing protocols and what are the design issues that you are facing in the routing protocols. Now let's see the classification of routing protocols. Means what are the different routing protocols are there. So how you are going to find the routing for each protocol. So let's see. So in this video I want to just give the introduction part of the classification of routing protocols. So just like a MAC uh, 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 classifications whatever the classifications of MAC you have learned in the same way for this routing protocols or the different classifications are there the routing protocol can be broadly classified into four categories so you have to remember these four categories the routing protocols can be broadly classified into four categories one is based on routing information update mechanism routing information update mechanism so this first uh, classification is dealing with the routing information update mechanism so whatever the routing information is there that has to be updated frequently and the second classification is deal with based on of use based of based on the use of temporal information for routing so there is a uh, need for the temporal information for the routing it's a temporary path that will be maintained by the second classification it is based on the use of temporal information of routing and the third one is the routing topology so what are the different routing topologies that will be uh, discussed in this third classification and the fourth classification is based on the utilization of specific resources so whatever the topology that you are taken so how the uh, utilization of the specific resource will be on on different topologies so these are the, the complete classic protocols are divided into four classification. Some protocols will deal with the routing information update mechanism. Some will deal with the use of temporal information for routing. And the third SIP is used, some use for the routing topologies. And the some will use for the utilization of specific resources. Means they are the concentrating on those things. Now let's see. Uh, before going enter into the each routing protocols let's see the first one based on the routing information update mechanisms what you are going to do in that classification so what this classification is explaining now let's see the first one the based on the routing information update mechanism so this you call it as a proactive or table driven routing protocols this routing information update mechanism is divided into three. I think it is three. So one is the proactive, another is the reactive and next is the hybrid. So based on the routing information update mechanism is divided into proactive, reactive and hybrid. So I'm talking about the first one. Okay, so don't be confused. Just take it as a step by step. Let's start talk with the uh, only the introduction part of all the based routing protocols. Okay, in this video, I'll just give the basic information about all the routing protocols. In the next video, I'll take each and every protocol, the proactive, what are the different proactive protocols, different reactive protocols, different hybrid like that. Okay. So the first routing protocol classification is based on routing information update mechanism. It is the different examples for this is proactive. The proactive is also called as a table driven routing protocol. Just remember the proactive and the table dri uh, driven both are the same. The proactive or table driven routing protocol maintain routing information for the routing table. So first it maintains the routing information in the routing table so one routing table it is maintained so in that table everything relating to the packet transformation means which node it is going from where it is coming so every information will be stored in the routing table the routing information is flooded in the whole network so that information has to be passed to each and every node not only from the path it has to be uh, flooded to whole network and this proactive runs path finding algorithm with routing table. It's just finding the path, path finding algorithm with routing table. So with the help of the routing table, it is finding the routing path. So that is a proactive, the table driven. What this table driven is doing, the first it maintaining the routing information in the table. Okay. 
so this routing information has to be maintained in a way that the whole network has to be know that so each and every uh, node will be finding out which uh, from where the data is getting from where it is going and next the runs path finding algorithm with routing table we have to find the best path in that that is a proactive next one is a reactive the reactive is also called as a on demand routing protocol so the name itself is saying it is an on demand reactive it is reacting it obtaining the necessary path while required so whenever it requires so that information that path it is selecting only the required path obtain the necessary path while required and the third one in this uh, uh, that is a hybrid routing protocol so in the hybrid routing, routing protocol is both the combination of uh, reactive and the proactive means the table driven and the on demand so if the if the zone of the given node is suppose in the zone of the given node means if it is present within the range means in the zone of given node then use the table driven suppose the routing uh, is out of the zone of the given node out of the zone of given node means use demand on demand so the hybrid routing protocol is a combination of table driven and the on demand so based on the suppose the routing information the nodes or uh, given node is in the zone means use the table driven if the given node is out of the zone means use on demand now coming to the second one so what is the second one the second classification is based on use of temporal information for routing so based on the temporal usage of uh, uh, based on the use of temporal information routing there is using past temporal information here the three techniques will be there uses the past temporal information routing protocol that uses the future temporal information okay so and the node lifetime is also included so this temporal information for routing is maintaining three uh, types of information so one is a past temporal information based on that past temporal information the path will be selecting and uh, the routing protocol uses the future temporal information okay so now let's see that using the past temporal information the past status of the links or the status of the link at time for routing so we had they had to consider the past temporal information while the links are selecting that is one uh, one way and another way is routing the protocols that use a future temporal information so the expected future status of the links to make decision so you that is this is a trial and error we have to be expect okay it will go like this only so in that way you have to be estimate and you have to select the path and the next is the node lifetime is also included that is the remaining uh, battery life prediction of location and link availability so th that also to be considered okay that is these are all the temporary informations not the permanent okay temporal so whenever there is an active in that uh, active nodes only the node lifetime is included and that node future uh, uh, information and then that node the past information that everything will deal in this classification based on the use of temporal information for routing and the third one is based on routing topology so some protocols is completely based on the routing topology here the internet uses a hierarchical routing topology in order to reduce the state information maintained at the core routers so here whatever the internet that you are, we are using that uses a hierarchical routing topology so why it is using hierarchical routing topology because in order to reduce the state information maintained at the core routers so this based on routing topology there is a flat topology route the different examples for this uh, uh, routing topology is flat topology routing protocol and the hierarchical topology routing protocol so in the flat routing topology routing protocol what you are going to do it uses a flat addressing scheme similar to ieee 802.3 lands and globally globally unique addressing mechanisms for nodes so here the flat topology is using the flat addressing scheme and globally unique addressing mechanism for the nodes then what about the hierarchical topology the hierarchical topology routing protocols deals with the make use of the logical hierarchical in the network and an associate addressing schemes are there 
and it could be based on geographical information or it can be it could be based on the hop distance so the hierarchical topology routing protocol is keeping concentrating on it could be based on the geographical information or it could be on the hop distance or it make use of logical hierarchical in the network and an associate addressing schemes has to be used now coming to the last classification that is completely based on the utilization of the specific resource so the utilization of specific resource is only concentrating on the power aware routing and the geographical information assisted routing the power aware rotating aims at minimizing the battery power routing decisions or completely based on either globally or locally so this is uh, the utilization of specific resource is also the important thing so what the protocol that we used for this is power aware routing it aims at minimizing the battery power routing decisions which are based completely on globally or locally and the next one is the geographical information assisted routing so it reduces the control overhead by effectively utilizing the geographically information available so these are the different classifications of routing protocols based on their utilization of specific resource based on their routing topology uh, information and based on their use of temporal information for routing and based on their routing information update mechanisms so in the next video we will take one by one so in each and every uh, classification there are different routing protocols are there that is a proactive reactive hybrid and like that thank you